Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to complete a denied referral where no action is needed. To locate referrals in the denied status, you want to go to Patient Referrals and click All Referrals. You will have to manually type in Denied under Status, and you'll see that you have all routine, urgent, and stat referrals in this status. You want to start from oldest to newest due date to make sure that you don't have anything older in there than the same day of. I click on the due date tab and see the ones with that are oldest you will see it up top after the arrows pointing upwards. So to look at this referral work on it, we're going to click on the ID. First things first, you want to see what's going on with the referral and read why it was denied. After reading this, you'll see that it was denied due to not medically necessary, so there's nothing we can do on our end um, to proceed with this. We just have to inform the patient. To inform the patient, you're going to go ahead and copy their patient number, also known as medical record number, MRN, and you're going to paste it in the Artera app. We're already here. So because this is the first attempt at texting the patient about their referral um, denial, you're going to create this Artera app response from scratch. To do this, you're going to locate a quick response in the third icon to the bottom here. And you'll find everything under referral, so you want to scroll. And you'll find your referral slash denial text quick response. You want to click on it, and you will go ahead and fill in the missing information. Referral name, the patient's provider that requested the order or the authorization, and so forth. So you want to copy that from Valor. Hello, this is the CMH referral department regarding your referral to, looks like it's for an MRI of the brain. I'm going to copy that and paste it in the side of the brackets. After that's copied, you're going to go ahead and make sure you include which provider requested this and you'll find that in Valor under requesting. So it looks like it's Dr. Lovell, so I want to copy her last name. Paste it in here. You want to remove the brackets as well. And make sure nothing else is missing. Once the text is ready to send, you want to make sure you have it unsecure. If you secure this message, it will require the patient to log into a link and confirm the information, which not always works and can um, frustrate the patient or delay the care as they will not trust the link and so forth. So you want to make sure this is always unsecure. You're going to send the text message. There's that. The next step is to make a broadcast. A broadcast is an automatic voice message that is sent to the patient. Just like a phone call, it's just robotic. So now to send a broadcast to the patient, you want to make sure you copy the message you just sent to them. Let's highlight, Control C. You're going to click on the left three dots over here to your left corner and click send a broadcast. You want to make sure you're under call and you paste in your message here. You want to make sure that you remove this last sentence. Please confirm with us that you received this message. It's a voice call, so patients cannot text. Um, they won't really do that. So go ahead and delete that. You want to make sure you're sending this from the referral line. You only have one option, really, but you want to make sure it's the correct one. Referral department hotline. You're going to click to the left corner over here. You have a check mark, mark since and make sure you send it to the patient and click send to one patient. Now I'll take you to this blank screen, but to go back where you were at, go ahead and click on the patient's name over here, and you'll see this little icon right here letting you know it's making that phone call. This is all you need to do in Artera. You're gonna go back to Valor, and you're gonna go ahead and annotate what you just did. So, you will have a shortcut and this will look like such. You want to enter the reason for denial manually and then include referral denial information sent to patient via text and broadcast. So earlier in this video you saw that this is denied due, due to not medically necessary. Excuse my errors. You're going to go ahead and submit. 
Now, to make sure that the next time someone follows up with this denial, it's already in the status it's supposed to, you want to leave it in the status it's supposed to be. So you're going to go ahead and enter the work status, patient follow up one. Type in one. There's my option. Click save, and you'll see it went through. If you see the save successful button appear, and you want to change the due date to the next working day. So tomorrow is the first of December. So you want to change it to 1201 and update. Now, if this had a PDF document attached as a denial, you want to go ahead and click setting up here, off scripts, and do push document. Because the denial was retrieved through portal, you don't have a denial attached. So you can ignore that and proceed as is. But other than that, this referral that has been denied is complete. We've texted the patient, you've moved it to the appropriate status. Once you're working follow-up one, you can follow those steps to proceed.